G'day, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Today we are talking about... I can hear my stepson revving an enormous 5.7 litre V8 engine out there, so I'm hoping it's not coming through. But anyway, today we are checking out uh, the Acoustic Preamp AD2 from Boss. Now, this was a bit of a surprise to me. I'm, I'm pretty up to date with all my Boss pedals. This is a very old Boss pedal. It's a, I think it's about a decade old. I think it came out about 10, 12, 13 years ago, something like that. It has uh, been around for a very long time. Now, I am currently swapping over from the HX Stomp uh, because I really wanted to use the Boss IR2 at gigs because I really, really love the sound of it. So I've gone from my usual um, gig rig with the HX Stomp on it. I'll try and find a shot of that and put it up on the screen to, for you to have a look at. I have gone to something more like this. It's about as wide as I can get that overhead shot but it, it pretty much goes from tuner to acoustic preamp to boss uh where am i the blues driver then a phase shifter then into the amper cabinet and then the space and echo there the space echo after the ir2 so anyway what happened was that i was using a few different preamps in the hx stomp to get the acoustic to sound nicer because i am flicking between acoustic and electric guitar tones all night at gigs for four hours uh, so when I've swapped over to the amp and cabinet, uh, the acoustic guitar, as you can hear, because I use this guitar live at gigs, was just a bit lifeless. Sorry, Fender. So I thought I'd get an EQ pedal, but then I needed to run a separate reverb. I don't like to run spring reverb on the acoustic guitar. I don't think spring reverb and acoustic guitars are very good matches at all. So I'd prefer a hall reverb or a plate reverb, something like that. Uh, so the Space Echo wasn't suitable for me to use as reverb for my acoustic guitar. So I just started Googling acoustic preamps. There is a mountain out of it, a mountain of them out there. But what really surprised me was that there is a Boss acoustic preamp in a compact pedal format. It has some resonance, a notch filter, and some ambient. So that is awesome. So there goes that V8 again. Now I do use the Piazzo pickup on this. There is modeled guitars in here as well. But I use a Piazzo pickup. I find the modeled uh, acoustic guitars, this, especially at really loud volumes, are very prone to feedback. So, this does actually have a nice Hawley reverb in it. And those of you that have been watching the channel for, you know, five years or so now, you know I like my acoustic guitar sounds really, really wet. So as you go down, further down the knob, it lessens the amount of time that the reverb is uh, audible and it also drops it down in the volume as well. So just on a little bit, if you've got headphones on, you'll be able to hear it's very quiet and reasonably short. As you turn the ambience up, it gets a bit longer and a bit louder. All the way up, it's beautiful and wet. Now, just gonna knock that down a bit. I know I haven't normally have it about there. Then you have the acoustic resonance knob now this is a mixture of sort of eq and a bit of compression and putting some harmonics back into it it's a really effective effect that they have come up with so you've got everything from this glorious scooped acoustic sound
Back around at 12 o'clock, it's a little flatter. And all the way down, it's pretty much off. So it's really lovely. The more you turn it up. The more it really sweetens your sound. Here it is off. You can hear it's quite mid focused and quite quacky. Like a duck. On. Lots of bass, lots of top end, nice scoop mids. With that glorious reverb. It's really glorious. Now, as if that's not enough being able to sweeten your tone that much and add some really glorious uh, reverb to it, it's also got a notch filter. You can hear it kick in there. It's... So what a notch filter does is out of your EQ, it just finds one specific frequency. It's a very narrow band of frequencies and takes them out for you. So if you know you've got feedback in a specific frequency, you can turn the notch filter around. So it's really sort of said it should sound like the opposite of a wah pedal as you turn the knob around and around. And all it's doing is just like I said, just grabbing a really narrow band of frequencies and getting rid of them. So if you've got feedback, you can just turn the knob until you find where the frequencies are that are feeding back, the feedback goes away. You don't have to worry about your feedback anymore. I wonder why the uh, wah pedal manufacturers don't make a notch filter like a reversed wah that you can just flick a switch and use it. It's actually a pretty cool effect. It almost says a little bit like a phaser or a flanger or something. Anyway, I've been leaving it off so far because this uh, Fender Acoustasonic doesn't really feed back much at all. So there you have it. So lifeless with the it. Really beautiful with it on. So that's pretty much where I've been running it at gigs. Let's turn the phaser on as well, just for giggles. And that's the space echo on after it as well. Anyway, I think it's a very excellent pedal. So, if you're playing acoustic like, acoustic sonic like me, or you were looking for some sort of acoustic preamp, if you're just going to separate uh, pedals, I think. If I was going to be super critical, the only thing I would say about it was it doesn't have a volume knob. <laughs> and being a preamp, you would think a volume knob would be a pretty important thing to do, but um, you know, if you wanted to push your line a little bit further, if you wanted to um, do anything cool, but I guess the reason they haven't put a volume pedal on it is because on the side, 
You also have a, you've got your normal out and you've got a balanced TRS out. I don't know if you can see that there or not on my finger. But that uh, balanced TRS output lets you run a TRS cable into your PA system and you get a balanced signal all the way. So you don't have to worry about uh, signal loss at all. But I've got, I mean, all these boss pedals have amazing quality buffers built into them. So uh, I haven't bothered to do that. I've just got it as part of my normal signal chain. So uh, yeah, that's an, another really cool bonus. If you're looking for a, a balanced output, I'm pretty sure the HX Stomp has balanced outputs as well if you use a TRS cable instead of just a normal TS cable. But anyway, added extra bonus. This is the acoustic preamp from Boss. It's AD2. They didn't send me this. I spent, uh, actually, I didn't spend any money on it. To be honest, I've got a mate here who swapped me a uh, JHS unicorn for it. So, uh, swapsies, it's all good. Uh, it's all fine. But uh, anyway, this isn't a paid presentation, but this really is a terrific, beautiful sounding preamp. If you're looking for one, if you're in the market for one, if you've got this far, thank you very much. Hit the uh, like button, subscribe button, thumbs up. Anything you do like that to support the channel is absolutely free to you and it means the world to us. So uh, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.